All right, hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. Our goal at The Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. I'm a self-taught software engineer of about 20 years. That's right, I taught myself how to program. I got a job in programming without a degree of any kind, and I would like to teach you what language and frameworks to learn to become a software engineer. There are a lot of videos out there on this subject. Many will say, learn this language, learn that language. Even though the languages that are being people are being told to use are good languages and good languages to learn even for a beginner, I don't think they're the best language to learn to get a job quickly as a beginner without a software degree. I'd like to cover that with you. If that interests you, hey, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. All right, let's go ahead and jump into what probably what most of you are here to learn, and that's what language should you learn, or what should you learn to get a job quickly as a software engineer. You need to pick a language, and you need to learn that language deeply. If you're trying to learn many different languages and learn a very high level, don't do it. That's not good. Pick a language, learn it deeply, become an expert in that language, try to get jobs in that language. If you want to learn the other languages later and get into a certain field later, then once you got your foot in the door, you can do that. You can do that later. The main thing now is is to become more or less a master of a particular language. You want to learn deeply. Now, what language would I recommend? Well, you'll definitely hear people talk about Java, C++, especially Python, all these different languages that are really high job market. There's a lot of job market for it, right? JavaScript's one of them too. JavaScript has one of the highest job markets around right now. JavaScript, there are, there are a lot of jobs in JavaScript right now. So I recently watched a video where someone said, hey, you should probably learn Python. It's easy to pick up. It's very easy to learn as your first language. And it's a good language to teach the, learn the basics from. Well, I kind of agree and I kind of don't, right? Python is a good language to learn. The market for it's growing, it's huge. But in my opinion, the entry level barrier into a Python job is very high. As a person who's self-taught trying to get a Python back in job, you're probably not gonna, it's gonna be hard. It's very hard. Don't get me wrong. There are probably people who do it, but there are better languages than Python for that. Now there are certain fields, there are Python web shops out there, but if you compare the job market for Python web shops into the other different choices, you're gonna see it's probably low. You can do front end programming with Python, but the, the amount of jobs available for it are probably low compared to the language I'm going to encourage you to learn first. Same for job. Go to, your, go to your bulletin boards, your job boards, search for the language in different areas, and compare the languages that job counts. You're gonna see Java, JavaScript, and Python are very high, a lot of jobs for those. So out of those three languages, Java, JavaScript, Python, I'm trying to communicate to you, don't do Java, don't do Python, learn JavaScript. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying that because JavaScript is one of the easiest, the lowest barriers to get into as far as job market for a self-taught engineer. You're more likely to get hired for doing front-end JavaScript work than you are for doing back-end Python or Java work. There's definitely a higher barrier to get through to get a job working on the back-end versus working on the front-end. Now, is it possible? Will you find people that's done it? I'm sure you will, I'm sure you can. But as far as the majority, majority people who are starting to program and getting programming job without a degree, they're starting on the front end. That, in my opinion, is what you need to do to get a job in software engineering as quickly as possible. Learn the front end. And what's the best way to, to invest on the front end? Learn JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Those are the three main things you need to learn to get a career quickly in software engineering. Now, if you want to get on the back end work, if you want to get into AI, if you want to get into back end services, you want to get into 
any type of field that requires backing work. You want to get into gaming with C++. Any of those fields, you can do that later after you get your foot in the door. First, get your foot in the door, get that job, get a job for a year or two, and then start learning those other languages to move to that type of field that you want to go to for your career. So learn JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. Now you're gonna have people to tell you to learn that like full stack type uh, technologies, right? I, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend you focus on the back end. I don't think you really need to learn how to use Node.js on the back end. I don't really think you need to learn how to use Java on the back end or Python on the back end right now. You don't necessarily need to learn how to be a full stack engineer. If you learn to be a full stack engineer, you're kind of going to get basically a high level broad learning, right? You need to focus on learning deeply. Become an expert at front end. Learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS. Learn those deeply on the front end. Now, once you have now, when I say learn those deeply, what I'm referring to is learn the core. Learn core JavaScript. Learn JavaScript inside and out. I'm not saying go learn every JavaScript framework out there. There are tons of JavaScript frameworks out there. You cannot learn them all. Learn the basics. Learn core JavaScript. Know it inside and out. Now, once you've learned those core things deeply, then consider jumping into a front-end framework in JavaScript. I would recommend React. React.js is huge. There's a huge market for React.js and also for Angular. I would recommend React.js. So once you have learned JavaScript and HTML and CSS, you know it well, learn React.js. And that's kind of like the icing on the cake, right? If you learn core JavaScript, HTML and CSS, that's going to get you a job. But if you want to make it easier for yourself, also learn React. React is kind of like icing on the cake. It will definitely help you in your job search. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, hey guys, click the thumbs up. That really helps us get the word out, it helps this channel a lot. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions about what I've said today, you know, leave me a message below. I'm very good at responding to uh, comments below and I always try to get back to you. So definitely leave me a comment below. Check out the rest of our videos. Check out our HTML building blocks. Check out our JavaScript building blocks. Check out our CSS building block videos. Um, they're really good videos to start with also. If you are starting your adventure on becoming a software engineer, you're going, you've decided you're going to learn on your own and do that. Hey, best of luck, best wishes. You can do it. Just follow these items. Don't give up. Be determined. Keep learning. You will make it. So, hey, again, if you like the video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And if you know somebody who might benefit from hearing this video, you know, send them a link to this video, pass it around. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching today, and best of luck with your job adventure. Have a great day.